Yeah, there it is, nice. Okay, let me show you another technique. That one's gold though, in my mind. Okay, another technique, and this is specific to vocals, is that in a voice, we there's two types of dynamics. There's the dynamics of the actual energy of the voice, which is the entire frequency spectrum. And then there's the dynamics in the performative aspects and the enunciation, the articulation, which creates the idea of dynamics. That's only in the upper mids. So one of the things that we can do, which kind of is a little psychological trick, is we can take all of the energy of the voice, which is in the low mids and lows, and we can really compress that very heavily if we leave all of the articulants, all of the consonants and things like that, all of the, the mouth-shaped noises and things, if we leave that fairly dynamic. What we ultimately get is a vocal that's very restricted in terms of amplitude energy, but still has the impression of being very dynamic, because all of the things that we're picking up on as dynamic cues are still dynamic. So in this technique, the idea is basically to squash the heck out of the low mids, and to maybe just round out the dynamics of the upper mids, but leave them pretty preserved. So I'll give you the before and after on that, and then I'll give you a breakdown of how to construct it. All right, before. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money coming, you got babies, and they ain't getting younger, so I sit and wonder what the f After. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money coming, you got babies, and they ain't getting younger, so I sit and wonder what the f to do. See, because lately, I'm... So, and again, I, I sort of had attenuated the output a little bit to just blend the vocal because it makes the vocal easier to blend with the record. Let me, let me do it one more time before and after without the uh, level mismatch. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money coming, you got babies, and they ain't getting younger, so I sit and wonder what the f to do. See, cause lately, I've been getting broke a while they getting older, and my baby mama seem to hate me. Where the f that pressure supposed to take me? Set right back in the streets, let's get that gravy. F you pay me. In and out the crib, ducking 80, minus 30. Keep it down, the neighbors might. And if you know how to listen to it, you can feel that it feels like it's being restricted, but it also feels like it's dynamic at the same time. Like we hear the compression, we hear the action happening, but if we don't know that that's what's happening, it still feels dynamic. It's a very, very cool effect. I'll give you one more time before and after, and then um, I'm gonna get into the specifics of how to set it up. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money coming, you got babies. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money coming, you got babies, and they ain't getting younger, so I sit and wonder what the f to do. I love this technique. It's so cool. It gives the vocal like an extra bit of personality too, which I think is really neat. So in order to do this, uh, here, I'll start it from scratch. I prefer, generally speaking, to use the McDSP multiband. I, I feel like because it gives us all these different types of compressors to use, like all these different attack, release, shapes, tones, we can get more interesting tones, textures, and shapes out of the sound. Uh, typically speaking, I want something that's going to crossover-wise blend the lower mids into the upper mids. So instead of using the 24 dB per octave slope, I tend to go for something that's a little bit more gradual. 12 dB per octave is usually where I want it to be. I'm gonna solo this low mid band and we're gonna target what we're looking to target. So let's go into solo mode here. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money coming, you got babies and they ain't getting younger. So I sit and wonder what the f to do. See, cause lately I've been getting broken while they getting older and my baby mama seem to hate me. So about 400 hertz seems to be where we're sort of focusing the low mid. Remember, this is slightly more gradual than 24 dB per octave. If I flip over to the 24, this is not going to be it. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money coming, you got babies. And we basically have to double the octave setting to 800 hertz when we use the 24 dB per octave to get the correct setting here. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money coming, you got babies and they ain't getting... So there we go. So we just want to make sure that that upper mid energy is not in this band. So this is all low mids. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money coming, you got babies and they... And I think this low band crossover is probably about right. Usually we do want to go into the bass range because again, that's where a lot of the energy and power gets carried. Sometimes we want to leave the bass a little bit more open uh, just so it feels like there's more natural um, uh, uh, breathing and presence. But... In general, we want to catch a good amount of the bass as well here. So once I've got that, I typically want a compressor that is going to have like fairly fast action, but also kind of a soft knee, because I want the compression to basically be 
really like holding this tone down. Like I want the the low mids to almost be a streamline of sound. But in order to do that with fast timing constants, I, I need a softer knee action in order for that to work. So, you know, experiment with these different kind of settings, experiment with different compressors. If you're using, you know, if you're using uh, a fab filter, or you're using the, the Waves one or the various other multiband compressors we have at our disposal, you know, a lot of options. If you're using this one, uh, I typically land on, whoops, wrong one, that. This BC22, which has sort of the more soft knee action. And I tend to use a fairly light ratio. Uh, but I can go up to the heavier ratios depending on what I'm trying to do. And for this, for a rap vocal, I typically will actually go to the higher ratios. So we're gonna go up to high ratio and set the attack as fast as it goes, set the release as fast as it goes. Mind you, the attack and the release here are not lightning fast on this. So even though it's as fast as it goes, that doesn't mean that it is as fast as like a digital compressor, it's not. And also it has a soft knee action to it. So that's going to kind of make the timing constants feel a little bit less in your face. And now basically I just want to do a, as much gain reduction as I can get away with. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money come in, you got babies and they ain't getting younger. So I sit and wonder what the f to do. See, cause lately I've been getting broken while they getting older. And my baby mama seem to hate me. Where the f that pressure supposed to take? Yeah, that's probably about right. I mean, it it looks pretty intimidating on the meter, and we definitely hear the compression act action. Like if I backed it off a little bit, it would feel a little more transparent. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money coming, you got babies and they ain't get That would be a more naturalistic approach, which, you know, for this technique can be fine, but I really want to like hit them over the head with compression on this. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. And then basically makeup gain so it doesn't feel anemic. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money come in, you got babies, and they ain't getting younger, so I sit and wonder what the f to do. See, cause lately, I've been getting broke while they getting older, and my- So like 560 B of makeup gain is probably about right. Now I'm gonna flip over to the upper mid band. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money come in, you got babies. And here, I'm just gonna do a very gentle compression. It's gonna be low ratio, so let's try like two to one. And I'm gonna keep the attack and the release right in the middle on this compressor module, that's generally about right. And I'm gonna be looking to do maybe about two dB of compression, three dB of compression, just a little bit to round it out. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money come in, you got babies and they ain't getting younger. So I sit and wonder what the f to do. See, cause lately I've been getting broken while they getting older and my baby mama seem to hate me. Where the f that pressure supposed to take me? Set right back in the streets, let's get that gravy. F you pay me, in and out the cr Cool. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money come in, you got babies and they ain't getting younger. So I sit and wonder what the f to do. See, cause lately I've been getting broken while they getting older. Cool, that's about right. So let's before and after that real quick. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money come in. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money come in, you got babies and they ain't getting younger. I think I'm gonna slow down the attack time on the upper mid band. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. There we go. And now we get that impression of dynamics that comes back. And notice as soon as I, I'll go from a faster attack time on the upper mids to a slower attack time on the upper mids. And notice that it changes the perception of the dynamic of the vocal entirely. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money come in, you got babies. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money come in, you got babies. And it's like I've changed the attack time on every band as soon as I do that. So bam, there it is. There's the magic of it, right? Now, if I if I play this in the mix. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money come in, you got babies and they ain't getting younger. So I sit and wonder what the f to do. It's gonna be really easy to set this vocal anywhere that it needs to be because the actual energy of the vocal is locked in place. So now I can even turn this down a couple dB and it will blend into the track but still feel very strong and present. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money come in, you got babies and they ain't getting younger. So I sit and wonder what the f to do. See, cause lately I've been getting broken while they getting older and my baby mama seem to hate. Support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money come in, support on one side, the other side, like you crazy. When the money come in, you got babies and they ain't getting younger. So I sit and wonder. 
So even though we've lost like a good solid dB and a half of actual vocal level, the vocal still cuts just fine, but now we're able to blend it in a lot better. So that's a really nice little trick right there or technique, whatever you want to call it.